everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies Podcast, episode 166. 167, I didn't change it's, the number. It's wrong here. It is, that is, in Andrew's defense, it is wrong there. Yes, it is. 167, yeah. I'm one of your hosts, Andrew, joined by all friends, because we're all friends. Yeah. Adam here. Hello. Thomas, regular viewer. <laughs> and occasional uh, participant. Yeah, hi. And Aaron. I mean, hey. What are we playing? Oh my god, Adam. We're playing Jurassic World. Jurassic and World? That's... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter if we get copy. Oh, cool. Strike. Oh, yeah, don't make you're money right. anymore. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you guys don't make money. We've never made money. I know, yeah. We made fact, like eight bucks. Yes, but we're down like seven hundred. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count. Hemorrhaging. <laughs> Hang on, you can put two spinosaurus together, but you put yep. one other animal in with the Rex and suddenly it loses its mind. Yeah, he's in not fact, too he's not too happy about it. I distinctly remember there being two Rexes in Jurassic Park. Can you just make a bunch of Jurassic Park two Lost World? Can you just make a bunch of Indoraptors? Uh yes. Can you have a park of nothing but Indoraptors? I guess if you wanted to, yeah. So this is the tie-in game to the Jurassic World oh movies, and also kind of the Jurassic Park Oh man, it's like there's Fallen Kingdom going on or something. Uh, fucking hell. I'm just murdered the shit out of that goat. Um, and, uh um, Take that goat, It's uh, made by Frontier, the same guys who do Elite Dangerous and, um... Planet um, Coaster. Planet Coaster. Uh, and I believe they were the first guys to really do... Were they, were they the ones who did Roller Coaster Tycoon? Uh, uh, it's part of their team. I don't think they did the first one. Maybe they did? Yeah, I think they, yeah, I think they did. They did it with uh, Sid Myers back yeah. then. I think it was part it was part of the same team. It wasn't like yeah. straight up Frontier, but... How are you getting out? How are you a danger to guests? Are you trying to go around my uh, fence that cheeses the game physics? Oh yeah, so Aaron clued me in on this. So we should probably explain what this is. This is a park management game. Um, where you uh, attempt like to build your own... Playing Jurassic World. Yeah, you attempt to play Jurassic. Oh, you, know, you build your own park. Did it get out? Yeah. It got out. Holy shit, you're fucked. God damn it. I just. God damn it. I just finished building up the other side of the fence because he did the same thing over there. <laughs> well, maybe they can get around fences, and the raptor is the only one that's smart enough to know how to maybe do it. Maybe we're seeing what's going to happen at some point during the movie. Oh, man. Um, man, Claire Daring does, just builds a fence to like a to a random to a point. random yeah. flat bit that has a white line next to it. So this is unable a, to uh, go up a slight slope. Yeah. So uh, in this game, you're playing. You're trying to create your own Jurassic World. We're trying to. Um, you have to go out and um, send out expedition teams to find fossils to re oh, get the DNA. You have to incubate the dinosaurs, uh, set them up in an exhibit or in, a, in an enclosure. Uh, you have the enough to make sh and make sure that the dinosaurs are comfortable. They have enough food, water. You know, and, uh, their terrain is suitable to their habitat. Um, they have enough, uh, or uh, or not enough um, other dinosaurs around them. So, for example, certain dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus uh, will uh, uh, can have one or two other members of its species in the same enclosure, but um, the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex does not like uh it only likes itself in, in in its enclosure so you could you really have to manage um the park and what dinosaurs you can stick in which paddock and also how to manage the paddocks some dinosaurs need a lot more space than other dinosaurs so the t-rex needs lots of space whereas uh the uh what the hell is, is that allosaurus allosaurus cool they're one of my favorites uh probably doesn't need as much space because it's much smaller um, you also have to manage the expedition of your, uh, expectations of your guests by building hotels in order to hold more guests, um, a monorail system to help them around the park, uh, and different amenities that they can enjoy while in the park, so restaurants and bowling alleys and bars and that sort of stuff. He's going to a Jurassic Park, or world, whatever, and wants to go bowling. I also wondered the same thing, Let's but I included see. it and, and I got a better rating, so. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, Thomas. Good. I don't even know why well, this is here. It doesn't cost anything. Did you sign anybody? Is it open? It's open, yeah. Your purse. Just nobody's sucks. going there. There's no running cost if nobody uses it, because that's how life works. Yes, that's how. That's why there's so many businesses what about the bar? still how many people are going to the bar. Oh, got structure. I, I respect okay, people well. going to the bar. You got to get hammered when you're like, holy shit, I'm gonna die. Nobody now because it's turned off. Hang on. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. So, um, one of the things that this game does really well is it allows... It, it simulates the movies in that you have to... Um, there are certain things that will come up that will fuck around with the operation of your park. So, the power will shut off randomly. Or a storm will blow through. Or a dinosaur will get loose. And you have to, as the park manager, micromanage the shit out of your fucking team so they get the job done. Like... I, honestly, I know, like, what they're going for, because it wouldn't be a park management game if you weren't micromanaging, but if there's, like, a Tyrannosaurus Rex running around the park, and the it, but the, and the, the capture unit will, is doing nothing to help, it's just like, oh, I guess we'll just stick around yeah. and, and do nothing, we're not getting directly called, the T-Rex is banging on the door, it's like, nope, can't do anything about it, that's not <laughs> a direct order. Um, the, uh, you also get to, you, it's, it's a very beautiful game, uh, it's, Bloody fantastic is in terms of its uh, uh, in terms of uh, how it looks. The graphics are great. The lighting is really good. The dinosaurs themselves feel really realistic, in so much as they mirror the movie dinosaurs. Right away. So you're not gonna see you know scientifically accurate you know dinosaurs like you would in uh, other it's dinosaur Jurassic games. Park dinosaurs. But it is Jurassic Park dinosaurs, and they did explain that in the Jurassic World movie. So I'm fine with it because it's not a dinosaur game; it's a Jurassic World game. Um, and for the most part, most of the dinosaurs feel pretty realistic. So even if the T Rex isn't feathered like it should be, it still moves like a T Rex should move, and it still looks like the T Rex from the movie. Uh, here you can see Aaron is going through uh, and is uh, getting his um, scientists to extract the DNA for... The uh, mud uh, Which is a type of hadrosaur. Um, mud when you, when you When you first unlock a specimen, it has a very low... Wow, that's a um, lot of dinosaurs. Sorry. Yeah. You can't... Um, uh, you cannot um, grow them right away. You have to get more of their... Complete their D, their uh, yeah, gene... Their uh, gene structure, and to do that, you're go you need access to um, uh, their uh, fossils in order to extract the DNA in order to complete the genome. The more complete the genome, the more viable the dinosaur will be, and the easier it will be to grow, um, or the less chance that the incubation will fail. Uh, the selection of dinosaurs they have is pretty good, considering that this game was only made in like what 18 months. Uh, yeah. So they have a bunch of big ones. Like Tyrannosaurus Rex and Spinosaurus. They got a bunch of, uh, you know, kind of like well known dinosaurs like Triceratops and Brachiosaurus and Stegosaurus. And then they got some lesser known dinosaurs like, uh, I don't know, like Ceratosaurus or Parasaurolophus. So it's, it's pretty good in terms of the selection. Uh, you got a nice mix of herbivore, carnivore, big dinosaur, tiny dinosaur. Um, one thing that is lacking, in, I found, in the selection is there are no um, flying reptiles, like there's no pterosaurs or pterodactyls or, or, or anything like that, and there's no underwater aquatic reptiles. I was like, going to ask if there are either of those, and there aren't. No. That, that sounds like expansion material It does, right and honestly, the game is so good, and it, 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 fe it feels so complete at the moment that I would be willing to fork, fork over $40 for, for an expansion of that nature. Because $40? It'll yeah. probably, it'll, like, land, was it, I was going to say land and sea, because it's Newfoundland, but like... <laughs> Like, air and sea expansion, 40 bucks. I, I'd say, well, how much was the game? 60, like, or, or 80, rather. It's a regular price game. Yeah, it was no, 60, it's probably, and it's probably 55 probably on PC. probably 30 for their expansion, I'd, I'd say. I'd say 20 yeah. is pushing. But, uh, well, it being Frontier, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. A lot of the expansions they've released for Planet Coaster, they've generally been smaller packs. Yeah. And they've been around 10... Like some of them are like a three four dollars. They're like it adds a, a, a new yes. building set for like Night Rider was one of the things that they did. Yeah, the, I I saw that today. Yeah, uh, and then they've also done like what the like I? different themes. I think it was a Kentrosaurus. Or it might have been a Stegosaurus. <laughs> yeah, Kentrosaurus. Mm. Um, but I think if, you know, like ha focusing on a lot of the the land animals. Uh, I think is a good base, and then they can expand upon that in the future with, like you're saying, different expansions. And I, I would rather they do that than kind of have half-baked ideas everywhere. Yeah. So, like, iron out the mechanics of the base game, which I think the, the base structure of what's here is great. Yeah. Uh, and then they can focus on expanding the other stuff later, which, again, it's Frontier. They probably will, so... Um, Aaron, I guess I'll let you go first, because you're, you're a bit further into the game than I am. There's, uh, can you just go to the island map for me for a second? Can you terrain map? 
You can, of. yeah. It's a bit limited. You can see here there's like a gray line around the outside. Mm -hmm. Those are your, like, your building limitations. Oh. But everything inside of that, you can deforest, change the elevation, add water, that sort Develop of thing. as you wish. The so, problem I have with is it's very broad strokes. You can't go in and is. place individual trees. Yeah, so, like, this is as small as the as the brush gets. So, like, you can see that I can... Well, actually, I can't do it there because there's a building already in place. But if I went over to this area where there isn't anything, you can... I can... Oh, this is just smoothing it. So, I can lower it down. Oh, okay raise it up but that's like as as fine as it gets like i can change the slope and have it be a little less severe but it's still as the same size brush and you can uh you can edit the terrain you can edit yeah, the water so. and you can uh add trees add shrubs or get rid of them yeah so um that's very basic i hopefully they'll expand upon that can i get you to go to the island map for me yeah so pop up here that's expedition map. So the, uh, there are five islands in the story mode of the game, and then yeah. there's the island off to the right, uh, kind of in the top corner. That's Isla Nubar, which is where the first Jurassic Park movie took place, and Jurassic World. That's like the um, the um, uh, tutorial. No, it's it's the uh, sandbox mode. Yeah, sandbox. thank you. So there, you don't have to worry about cost of anything, or about you know worrying about the factions. Um, which I'll get into in a, in a second, you just have to worry about the... Uh, uh, you, you can just build to your heart's content. I haven't gone there yet because... I think you can also uh, control... Like the daytime like, and stuff. Uh, no, I, I think you can, you can control like the dinosaur behaviors as well. Like they don't they never break out. There's never any sabotage. Like you can basically put it on like super relaxed, easy mode. Okay. So like nothing ever happens. You can just build. Which I, I like... But the other islands on the map, the uh, the other five, those are the um, um, uh, las. Well, yeah. So it's the uh, los cinco dos muertos, which are the the five deaths, which are uh, in. They're mentioned in the second Jurassic Park movie as five islands about eighty miles east of Isla Nublar, which is where um, 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 Injun uh, bought or rented. I forget a lot of those islands and had some bases on them in order to like kind of. So Isla Sonar, which is where we're... Uh, Sorna. Sorna, sorry, which is where we are now. Is it Chickenotosaurus? Yeah. Cool. Um, Chicken Nugget Saurus. Is a, uh, was the site of Jurassic Park uh, 2 and 3. That's where the setting was. Um, and e the first... Each of the islands presents a new challenge. So the first island is like your tutorial mode. So it's very easy, very relaxed. There's no sabotage. The dinosaurs hardly ever break out. The <clears throat> second island is very narrow... And has a lot of storms that you got to worry about. The third island, it, you start off in debt. The fourth island, there's a lot of sabotage and a lot of storms. And then this one just appears to be kind of like the final challenge where you kind of sabotaging. Well, there's three different factions in the game. Yeah. There's entertainment, there's science, and there's security. And you have to make sure all three are satisfied because um, not only if if the more satisfied they are, the more unlocks you get. Hmm. And they unlock special missions when you get past a certain threshold um, that will unlock certain things for you. So, for example, if you get the, like a if you unlock the threshold on the first island for security, you'll get a weather station that'll like help detect when storms are coming and help like lessen storms' impact on your on your buildings. Um, but um, the three factions, for some reason, don't like each other. Uh, and they were kind of, they're kind of working not to sabotage themselves, um, or their, their, their rivals, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. No, it's, it is a little weird that it's like, why are you hurting your own business? But I think it, it kind of takes up like the movies, like you have like Dennis Nedry, that was his name, right? Like, yeah. He, he had like ulterior motives selling the, the DNA. Like and if you focus on one faction more than the others, they start to, to hate you a little bit. And I guess that's it's kind of just trying to bring in movie drama, mm. which... more like Dennis Nedry. So the <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So in order to uh, um, uh, in, in order to really um, in order to build up your reputation with each faction, you have to do complete contracts. And the con so the contracts, so like the science division will send out contracts, like we need you to excavate the DNA of a small herbivore dinosaur, or we'd like you to get an 80% genome for the Diplodocus. 
Uh, the security will be like, we want you to make a really big, uh, you know, we want you to create more ranger stations so the park is safe. And the entertainment section will be like, we want you to make a really big, scary dinosaur to draw in more customers. Or we need you to build more <clears> restaurants. <throat> and they give you money, but also um, reputation with the faction. The pr Here's the problem. The problem is that the faction missions are fucking stupid. Because there are plenty of times when, like, the science division wants something science done. Well, then there's also times where the science division will be like, you know what, we need more restaurants. I'm like, you're my chief geneticist. What are you doing wanting more restaurants? Or, like, the security guy will be like, release all the dinosaurs out of the pen and just see what happens. And I'm like, well, you're, you're in charge of security. Why are you attempting to sabotage our own company? It's a field I, test. I, I can think of so many reasons why people would do these things from, like, a logistics standpoint. But... In a video game, it makes no sense. Yeah. Sometimes they explain it a little bit, like, I don't know, the, like, the one of their unlocks for the security division might be dinosaur DNA, and you're like, why Why do you have the DNA? But it could be like, we, we are developing this DNA to, like, test our security or something, and they might give you a little blurb, a, a basic explanation as to why they're doing it, but it's still, sometimes it just doesn't make any sense at all. Is this one going to escape again? They also... No, no, hopefully not. So when you look, just click on the, the uh, Indoraptor again, so you can see what the, the um, right underneath its uh, its name, it, it has its status, which is roaming, which means it's just kind of plowing around. Um, there are a couple of different modes. There's roaming, there's hunting, there's feeding... And there's, like, a, aggression and attacking the Panicking, fence. yeah, attacking yeah. the fence. And uh, if the dinosaur is... Not, so if you go down and you can see comfort, if the dinosaur's comfort is 100%, very low chance of it panicking or attacking the um, um, or attacking the fence. Um, and you need to get its comfort level up by making sure it has enough food, water, and its terrain is to its it's liking. Um, storms will cause carnivores to panic for some reason. Which is understandable when there's a tornado in their paddock, but is less understandable when there's a storm somewhere on planet Earth and the dinosaurs get pissy about it. I think it's and just the wind, like from oh a, from man, a narrative there's never been wind before with dinosaurs. No, but like wind that like can destroy buildings. Like you see, some some buildings in your park might get like destroyed and be on fire. So I don't know. Maybe the harsh winds fuck with them. I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to explain it. Yeah, uh, Aaron, do you want to? I got some grievances. Uh, a few grievances, but did you want to? you want to yeah, say it's your not, piece? It's not. It's not flawless. Um, you know, coming from Frontier, I know they didn't have a massive amount of time to effectively build it from the ground up. I know that, like a lot of people said, they could have just like reskinned Planet Coaster and stuck some dinosaurs in it. But I'm not sure that effectively what they're going for that would have been as simple. Like, I don't think that would have been good for this type of game. Uh, no. I th obviously, they wanted to do it justice, so they built it from scratch. Uh, you know, still using their same game engine, but like, there's no reused assets. Nothing functions the same. It feels, it feels almost like a completely different game uh, in many ways to to Planet Coaster, which is good because you know a lot of the attributes and like how how dinosaurs work, how they roam the parks, how. Oh, okay. What is this guy doing? He's super dead. Yeah, he's. Was um, that Styracosaurus? Uh, Chasmosaurus. Okay. Uh, make another one of those. Prostegosaurus. Uh, <laughs> um, I was going to be like Triceratops. <laughs> but so I'm, I'm glad they, they restructured a lot of it from the ground up. It could definitely be more fleshed out uh, than it is. Hopefully we'll see over the next you know year or two that that comes to pass. I mean, well, I mean if, if Frontier is known for one thing, it's supporting their games. Yeah, so I mean, if, if, if it's up to them and not a universal decision, the universal had a lot of input on this game, like... Uh, humans cannot kill dinosaurs. So, you know, like that was, I don't know if that would, would have been something that they would have kind of, you know, heavily lent on anyway, but there's been some ideas like maybe this dinosaur is sick and it can't, you can't heal it. Maybe you don't have the cure for it. So maybe you got to euthanize it. You know, like there'd be some decisions like that that you may have to make that you just, you can't do now, obviously, because you can't, kill dinosaurs, although you can uh, tranquilize them and just let them die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let them starve to death while they're unconscious. Was that a decision where they're like, we gotta make sure this game's good for the kids? Yeah, it's probably like a family-friendly type and thing. And there are, there are no just kids like in the, the game. Movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the so, horror movie if the dinosaurs break out, the they're gonna kill adults. Uh, uh, yeah. The dinosaurs can kill people, yeah. Uh, but uh, not the other way around, so I guess it's a little one-sided. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense to the movie, though. The, yeah. the, the question I have with that, 
and I guess it'll be pretty easy since you guys have both played this game a fair bit. With that in mind, for the kids, do you think the kids are playing this game? Um, I, th I think so, yeah. I, yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of these games, Planet Coaster included, I feel like those types of management, like build whatever you want type games, somehow attract people that aren't generally gamers. Like you'll like a lot of the screenshots you see of these games, like Planet Coaster and this game, are from like potato computers. So like clearly they're from people who don't often, well, one don't don't have enough money to invest in a good gaming computer, so they probably don't do it a lot. Would be my guess, or maybe they're a younger audience and they can't afford it. So like I I feel like that these types of games market themselves to that audience uh, just as much as maybe people like Adam and, you know, I have a casual interest in dinosaurs. I'm not hardcore about like Adam is, but definitely appeals to me as well. So I guess it's kind of an all ages game. Can uh, you answer a question for me? Yeah. yeah. Why? What is, why do they have arms? The dinosaurs? Why? The why? Yeah. Uh, is it just a leftover from evolution? Well, I mean, or? they do they do have some function even in find a way to be in arms. Uh, even <laughs> even a dinosaur like T Rex, which arms are you know famously very tiny in yeah. terms of body size. But she's a there was some function. They were they were despite being small, they were actually very muscular. Um, so scientists think that what they would have done is held onto the prey while it ate in order to help tear away. Mm. It also is a leftover you know part of genetics because the animals that they evolved from also had forearms. Because um, ra raptors come from the same uh, family of dinosaurs that T Rex does. Look at this guy's them. arms; they're like even smaller. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're so, like... so it, it makes more sense to be like a leftover from yeah their ancestors. Yeah. Now, like if you just go over to your Allosaurus, uh, uh, Aaron, uh, his arms are a lot bigger because he's an oh. earlier type of theropod, and he still used his. And many of the theropods would still use their arms for, um, uh, you know, f for hunting prey. Uh, Spinosaurus is one. Um, and there's a number uh, a, n a number of, of large carnivorous uh, d dinosaurs that would have had them. But certainly the bigger the jaws got, the bigger the dinosaur, the less need there was because the jaws were I'm such hitting power. I'm impressed how nice the skin and stuff looks on that. Oh, it's, like, the dinosaurs look perfect. That's great. Three, except for uh, Dinonychus, which looks stupid, but that's just, this is me being picky. Uh, yeah, I think they got the bulk of the 3D models from Universal, from like the yeah. movies. Which is why a lot of them look spot on to the film. Like, yeah, can it you looks just, just like a movie, the movie. T Rex, hang on a second now. Where's Rexy at? Sexy Where's Rexy. Right so the Rex pretty much looks exactly like the Rex from the movies. Like, I have, I can't see any, which is the reason I fell in love with dinosaurs in the first place, is this model. Like, it just looks so cool. And it, they do a really good job. If I can just speak to the... Because I'm not playing it on PC. I'm playing it on PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. If I can speak to that. It is absolutely worth getting on PlayStation 4 if you don't, if you don't have a, a gaming PC. It, it looks just as good as this. Um, and it runs just as smoothly. I have encountered no problems of any sort in terms of gra uh, graphical hiccups. Uh, Does frame it run at drops. 30 or 60? I can't tell. Probably thirty. It probably runs yeah, at thirty. Yeah, probably. But in this kind of game, I don't really think you need sixty. You don't need the full sixty so much for this because you're not talking fast paced. Um, not the, saying it would be nice, but <laughs> um, but it, it it looks it looks fantastic, and there's no graphical hitches, and it has a and the controller the controls yeah are really intuitive. It's really you know they did a really really good job of button mapping um, and and letting it in control. It's one of the best because the only other park management game I believe that's come out for consoles was Zoo Tycoon Two, which was fucking awful. I was like, also that's probably the most comparable game to this. Is... It, it's Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> yeah, but well, it's, I would say Operation Genesis. I think is Frontier made that as well. Uh, Zoo Barrow Tycoon. Game. Yeah, the new one. <laughs> the one that came out on Xbox. I think they made that. Yeah. It's not very good. I, at least I found it's, it's. It didn't have nearly as much content as this. Uh, it wasn't nearly as nice. No, I, that was definitely back when Frontier was like, not new, but they had like restructured and they were like reteething with a lot of like Microsoft projects. They made connectables as well. Like they they, they didn't have a massive staff and a I, lot of money. Yeah, they kind of needed money. Yeah. So they I guess they were just doing contract jobs that Microsoft had put out or whatever but it's so nice getting a game like this um where because you don't often get games like this especially not for consoles for pc it's different where it, you know the market is so is so diverse but for consoles i can't think of the last 
uh, park management game aside from Zoo Tycoon that's come out for for consoles, and certainly not one that was this polished. And the fact that they nailed it on their first go, especially with the controls, which if you've ever played any kind of um, um, you know uh, um, RTS or strategy game for consoles, except barring Halo Wars, all of the controls have been pretty shit. Uh, so they did a really, really good job with this game and pouring it to console. Uh, I have some problems with the game itself. I, I mentioned with some of them, so I think the faction stuff is a little bit stupid in terms of the missions. Um, and um, the uh, I would like to see some flying dinosaurs and aquatic dinosaurs, but at the same time, I uh, I understand why you can't have that kind of that kind of thing. At least uh, at the start. At least at the start. Yeah, yeah it's right. primarily my, my grievances like are all like lack of content, but I, I mean, mean considering yeah. the time frame in which this was built, yeah. um, and you know what we got is really good. I've certainly this is one of those games and I can tell this is my recommendation. There are times in this game where I, I on Thursday uh, on, not this Thursday, but last Thursday I, I was like, all right, time to... I'll, I'm, I got home at 11. I'm like, all right, I'll pop on this game, and I'll play for about half an hour or so, and then I'll go to bed. And oh, I man, look at the clock, dead. and I'm like, oh, it's uh, it's 2.30. Way to go, T-Rex. 2.30 in the morning. Uh, Way about to live. Four hours have passed. Big body, small Jesus heart. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I yeah, outlived his expected uh, lifespan, so... Mm. Hey. Extinct animals have Not no rights. Not too bad. Yet. So, it's like... Gonna build an Indominus. Whatever. Uh, I already got one brewing. I want to see what the Indoraptor and the Indominus do together. Uh, probably fight and kill each other. Yeah, maybe. Mate creed, but the Raptor's tiny, powerful. so we'll can find you, out. Can you fuck around with their Geno? Uh, yes. Could you mo can you just go into the modify? Oh, well. Oh, for the Rex? Yeah. Whoa. So you yes. can change their skin color. You can make them more resilient. You can make the... So this this is their... Uh, in term, like how, how susceptible they are to diseases and, and how long to live. Yeah, um, that that changes all their traits. So, like, if you want to make one specifically for fighting, you can do that. If you want to make one that lives a long time and get your money's worth, you can do that. Or if you want to go straight up uh, audience impact, you can do that. Mm. And then all, that all impacts the viability, which is, like, how likely it is to incubate. And if it fails to incubate, you lose the money, which isn't so bad. Like, uh, this game, like, very Not early... no, no, I'm making 1.1 million per minute. So I'm per okay. minute. The only, minute, yeah. the only, the only other grievance I have is I don't really. It's more of a. Um, uh, this is more um, a grievance with the genre as opposed to this particular game, but um, this is one of those games where, uh, or one of those types of game where in the beginning you are twiddling your thumbs waiting for money to. Roll yeah, I guess that's one thing that should be said for this game. A lot of the management games up to this point like that you can pause you can speed up and when you pause you can like micromanage things like okay a lot of shit's going on right now i'll pause you do this you do this you do this and then I'll go, okay i'll let it go this in this one. game you cannot control time the only thing you can do is hit escape and that's your only means of pausing so that's you going can't to the bathroom yeah <laughs> yeah that's that's going to the bathroom you can't pause and, and micromanage your park so if shit hits the fan you have to do it in real time you now can't i kind of like that because it makes it yeah it makes it seem very realistic but at the same time, when you're at the beginning of the park and you have little to no money, you have to wait in real time for the money to come in so you can actually start expanding yeah, it. Yeah, now it doesn't take long for the money to start yeah. rolling in once you get a couple of good dinosaurs, but... It's not too bad, but it's... It could be better. Yeah, it's a little... The I wouldn't mind a fast-forward button. Yeah, um, mm. but it gets to the point where eventually uh, you're, um, you know, you... you <laughs> Eventually, you'll have so much money rolling in that you can just do whatever you want. You almost you, you forget about that things have a monetary cost. Yeah. But at the beginning, you have to like really plan it, plan out, and manage your moves correctly. Like, all right, I need to build an enclosure. What dinosaur am I going to pick? All right, uh, let's go for something that'll bring in a lot of money. So T Rex. All right, I need to. Well, the fences need to be tough. All right. Well, they're going to need power because they got to be electric. Thing. Uh, and they're going to need a gate, and they're going to need, oh, I'm going to need a ranger team to feed it, and, oh, I'm going to need ACU in case it escapes, and I need to trank right. it. So you got to really plan <laughs> and out And then it step. gets sick, and then you go, oh, shit, now I need to research the disease it just got and yeah. figure out how to cure it. Yeah. It would be cool, probably, maybe in a sequel, to see actual gene splicing 
Yeah, I, like, I was like wondering about that the myself. The Indoraptor and the Indominus. So That's like what happens. Mash two dinosaurs. Yeah, together. make your own stuff. I thought that was on like on the the list in terms of what they wanted, but it had to be cut due to time constraints. That fucking dinosaur is so cool, even if it's the, the, fake. They were also probably where they are so tied with Universal. Universal's like, I failed. We can't let people do that. They'll ruin our sequel ideas. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I I, I was kind of hats like if they release another movie with another made up dinosaur as the this big is the last villain, one. Yeah, okay. They they said that we should we should probably move on from this game. So any final thoughts, uh, Aaron? Uh, yeah, I the hope they continue to expand upon it. Uh, that's my only thing. Is what uh, that they continue expanding upon it and that yeah. uh, we get to see all those those things like more inter- you know more micromanaging the crowd. There's not a whole lot of interaction with like your guests. Um, so that's. That could be expanded upon new different kinds of dinosaurs. That sort of thing would be would be nice. Better, bigger tool sets would be cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, what they what they've given us, I think it's it's uh, it's fun, and I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna Jesus oh, Christ! Took out a oh, big chunk of health. All right, well, oh, oh man, you got bitted. Oh, okay. Uh, you might want to trank them. Nah, that's nah. fine. We'll see who wins. That'll just make whoever wins the rating go up. So whoever uh, wins, we lose. Whoever wins, I make more money. So oh, is it? it? Doesn't matter. Is that how that works? Uh, well, they each have rating, yeah. So, like, if he wins this fight or she wins this fight, they 2018, uh, <laughs> then the, the their their combat infamy will go up. So, like, if you have a dinosaur that's 120 one fights, away? probably has low health, probably bleeding out. I don't know. Health's going back up. Um, I mean, now is now is the prime time to kill it. The uh, the. I guess the question I'll ask to both of you, because uh, I know I asked really the cost, is it worth the money? It is. It is to me, yeah. But I've I mean, sunk a lot of hours. I've, I'm already up to like, you know, like oh. 20, 25, 30 hours. So you say buy at full price, don't wait for like a sale or anything like that? I mean, that. you can always wait that's for a sale, sale but if, it, if you don't think it's going to be your type of game. But you should pick up this game at some point and play it, because it's really, really... That's not where it is, Indy, but you know, whatever. 10 out of 10. a few glitches. Yeah, well, some word tracking sometimes like that with the dinos as well. I could fix that. Speaking of sales, <laughs> also oh, we, man. we just uh, Aaron, we just, we, just, we, just, we just finished Jurassic World. We just finished. Uh, we just. Oh, that, we know what'll happen. happen. That's telling how Fallen Kingdom ends. Like the the friggin' in, the no raptors like running around like oh man we need another dino we need more teeth again. And then the the friggin' massive whatever what the, was the the mosasaurus comes out and then the the. the the Indominus Rex jumps out of its mouth and kills the Indoraptor <laughs> yeah, and then walks off again. Off. <laughs> he comes in riding it like, whoa! It so ends up being just, more of a monster battle yeah. than no, like it Godzilla. Learned, it learned to communicate with it because it, it has its DNA. Yeah. Because it made perfect sense in the movie, right? Uh, yeah. What's this about a massive sale? <laughs> the Steam Summer Sale started. Woo! Is this game on sale? In the no, summer? but I was going to say Frontier's... Uh, Previous game, uh, on a coaster, is on sale for oh, okay. uh, over half off. I picked that up today myself, actually, because I wanted it, but I was not going to be paying almost sixty bucks for it because I'm a cheapskate. Mm. But I do want to support them. Well, some high quality textures. <laughs> but uh, there's lots of uh, good and passable and awful games on sale, and uh, it's uh, you know. Check it out. Their seasonal sale. Have you... I mean, this is their big sale. I mean, say what you will about Christmas, but seems summer sale. I mean, that's... I mean, like, that's what they're known for. That's their biggest sale of the year. So, yeah. definitely check out check out the deals. What's the thing... What's the gimmick this year? Uh, uh, there's a game. So, the... Have you guys have you guys screwed around with the game? The Steam no. summer game? There's a game called Salians. Like, yes. Summer Salians. Uh, it's another one of those button clicker, button, you know, just clicker games. Uh, Why aren't we playing uh, that? Oh, uh, <laughs> this garbage. It looks, it looks like a like a really shitty mid two thousands flash game. Um, but with that, instead of just getting arbitrary points, you have a every time you complete a level, you're entered to win one of the games. Basically, it's broken up into like different planets because you play as an alien. And it's broken up into different planets, which uh, when you finish a level there, you're entered to win. A game that's like on that planet. So I think there's like six games per planet. Yeah. 
But so then Planet might be like strategy games and other. Yeah, they might like I think Assassin's Creed Black Flag is like one of the games yeah, you can yeah, win. So yeah. no, they they had a Planet of Pirates that was they had a winner earlier today oh, okay. or something. So they had like pirate games. I don't Black Sails or something like that was mm. there and. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of different Raven's games that you can Cry? win. Was Raven's Cry? Raven's Cry, Cry wasn't sale. there. Yeah. But uh, Too bad. I, I, I bet if you looked, it's probably on sale. Mm-hmm. Check out Funhouse's playthrough <laughs> that for my review. For your review of uh, it's so funny. Um, uh, that uh, one thing I appreciated looking at the like sale lists and everything. Don't forget to make your right. Is just like the slightly did I, new oh, yeah, I games. Didn't do that. That clearly didn't do well in their launch, mm-hmm. like or you can do it less than a month or, before, or, 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 on sale for forty to sixty percent off. And you're like, maybe you're trying maybe really hard to recoup some of that money you <laughs> wasted, aren't you? That always happens. Yes, it does. Yeah. You know what won't be on sale though? What? The new uh, eleven series GPUs coming from Nvidia when they release on July thirtieth. In oh, sweet. theory, still. But... In, in theory, because <laughs> I haven't read this. Who put this on the list? I, I put that there. Um, Tell us about it. I, well, I I watched the. What's that? United Nations Human Rights. What you? Andrew's under arrest for for torturing that inch that that segue. No. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll put him on. I've done way. For you. We've done. Way I've worse. done way worse things than that. <laughs> How dare you? It's actually my mom on there. Oh. Hi, Adam's mom. Hi, Adam's mom. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Facey. How are you? Here in the phone back. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll see you later, sure. Mm, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't like him either. No. no. Yeah, all right. Um, Bye. Here you go. But, uh, no, uh, I, I, I watched uh, like a couple different uh, tech Their YouTubers, moms getting like getting Linus divorced. Tech Tips and, like, all those guys. Yeah. Are you getting Mark Saltzman? No. Oh, oh man. I, I tell you right now. Linus Sebastian's voice, way worse. <laughs> unlike unlike your voice, which is apparently dying. Oh, right it now. goes in and out of existence. <laughs> um, I, I, you know your smoker could have been a whatever voice. That, I could have been a dancer. Yeah, that. I, I answered the phone today, and it was like my boss calling to check in because he's in Labrador fishing because he's a rich man. And as all rich men want to do. Well, no, they went to their private helicopter this morning, flew up to Labrador so they could fish. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> so he's an ass. Oh no, he's great. He's really friendly. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's got. You won't see this. You don't have to worry. I'm, I'm not worried. His son might see it. <laughs> he's the future owner of the company. He likes me though. He's oh, all right. Okay. And he would buy one of these GPUs. Mm. Um, but we get it, some... it's it's exciting if they're actually coming yeah, as most cool. outlets are reporting now. And there was a recent what was the tech conference in Taiwan or whatever recently? I don't remember what it's called. I'm going to say Computex because I just don't know, but um, apparently there was closed door previews with it and everything like that there. Okay. So um, it's finally going to be rolling out, and hopefully that means that the crazy prices in the market will somehow just shift up a generation. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this is going to be be released for the miners, so. Yeah. First and foremost, oh, yeah, yeah. they're going to be who grab these cards. Data miners, not people who are... Not you know, young uns, or people because they can't mines. afford it. Like yeah. actual, like... I don't... I are heart. there miners anymore? There are lots of miners. It's a I very feel, large sector of... The, the, yeah, but it's mostly like, okay, you gotta <laughs> tell this robot to mine. Mm, I don't know about that. I think there are actual miners. Children, yeah, I know. And people well, we who, all know about the children in people Africa. Who dig rocks and that, stuff. that goes without saying. What about the minor miners? But uh, what? The minor miners. Oh, the real, okay, I see. Uh, the, those are the real tragedies. The the first ones that are supposed to be coming out are supposed to be, uh, was it uh, work level GPUs? So I guess like even more expensive than what we would consider, but at least mm. this is the start of the next generation, which was supposed to have started, what, like, a year or two years ago? I don't know. Something like that. So, hey, mm. good job stopping dragging your heels. And that's that one. <laughs> Andrew? Well, talk I'm, about, I'm fine with it. Talk about dragging your heels. Hey, Disney, why don't you release a good movie for once? Oh, what's that? You're not? <laughs> 
Excellent. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so Disney's put all their Star Wars story movies on hold? Yeah. Uh, who can tell me about this? Uh, yeah, so I think what happened is after going in this was I actually had like a I'm gonna do a little skit where this is Disney right before episode 8 and they're like man this I'm really pleased with the script there's a few things wrong with it but I think Disney you know Star Wars fans are gonna think this is one of the best movies ever and cut immediately afterwards like holy shit they hated that well, what's Solo shaping up to be like well it's not looking good we've had to hire an acting coach the main guy and do a bunch of reshoots like oh well I guess we'll put it out in May and try to fly it under the radar and then cut you know cut to right after Solo how did numbers look? It's really well, really well reviewed, and is doing you know you know half decent. Better than expected. Better than expected, and they're like, I, we don't know what you people want. Is I think what Disney's like. So we're gonna reorganize the company and try to figure out what we should do. Just make Rogue Two. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I think I personally Rogue think Solo. Uh, Kennedy's been like. Fired and always, but it unoffi- but officially, yeah. I think there's going to be change in management very soon. But I think it'll be spin, you know, it'll be spun in a way that's not like, oh, we're getting rid of her for doing a terrible job. More like we're getting, you know, she's decided to move on, either a because of the all the you know misogynistic oh, and definitely. hateful things, definitely. or two. Uh, she's moving up in the company. So it's going to be one of those two things, or both of those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it won't be like, oh, we're getting rid of her because she's, like, single-handedly destroying this, this you know, multi-billion dollar franchise. I but, feel, there we go. I wish the dinosaur fighting was a bit more dynamic. Yeah. So just kind of them standing around. Whip it with your tail. Now they're standing around because they hurt. Oh, and also there's a storm coming, so fuck me, I guess. Although it wasn't single-handedly, was it? It was very much everybody else as <laughs> well. Yeah, it, was, it was either single-handedly and nobody said anything, or yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of yes-men in the world. Yeah, well, that was we that was the problem with the prequels, too, right? Oh, 100%. Lucas, I mean, Lucas at least had, like, a vision for where he wanted <laughs> he, the story to he had, go. He had a very specific vision. Yeah, the problem was everyone was, like, afraid to say... Lucas, maybe we should... George. George. Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> let's, you know, hold back on I mean, that for a little bit. I mean, my ranch, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, what do you think about this Jar Jar Binks? He's probably just about half as good as ranch sauce. What do you think? That's probably the best description of how good Jar Jar Binks <laughs> is. <laughs> probably half. Jar Jar Binks <laughs> is an evil Sith Lord... Please. I'm not. I'm. I'll walk out of this podcast if you bring that up in this fucking podcast. I've, it's brought up. It's right in front of you. Oh, I'm gonna ignore this one. <laughs> you you don't want to rant? Nah, it's good. <laughs> you what? guys talked about that dinosaur game long enough. I feel better. <laughs> what What were we ranting about? Sports games? Oh my god. Okay. I want to. I want to hear Thomas rant. I want to hear. This is why we bring yeah, you on for the sports. This is let's why we it. call you old ranty Thomas. <laughs> Oh, that's what all the children say. They skip the school. Oh, there's there's old Randy Thomas' house. Don't go there. Mom and Dad don't uh, don't like him. He'll oh. rant your ear off that one. Uh, prior to uh, E3, <laughs> I was yes. developing a level of hope for sports games. Uh, like just broadly, or EA uh, sports games. E- EA sports games because they hold the market share. Yeah, and that was that I had heard that they were finally going to adopt. Just a general yearly subscription model. I was like, it's about fucking time. I was like, they will make more money because people will forget to cancel their subscription. Because sports gamers aren't smart. And... <laughs> a very negative attitude towards your own... Yes, I know. No <laughs> fans, but alright. My own kind. <laughs> um... And I was like, it'll give them, like, the stability in, like, year-round income that they can continue to actually improve the games rather than do a bunch of shit in, like, two or three months every year and be like, all right, there's a new one in September or a new one in whatever the month is before the season of whatever the sport is starts. Um, I say September because that's when the, their basketball, football, and hockey ones come out typically. So... Before E3, I had this hope. 
because I'd read a couple of things and was led to believe it. Then it turned out it was their EA act like a premium access program is really more of what this was talking about in that where you pay however much that monthly subscription is, whether it's like nineteen or whatever dollars, and you get to play most of their newest games, and it will include FIFA and Madden. And I was like, okay, you know, for the sports gamer who plays those, you know, that's a sort of proper investment, I guess. You're If you have the subscription and only play it for the active sports seasons, you're only going to be spending 80 bucks on the two games rather than 80 bucks per game. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was like, okay. So, they have all their other sports, too. Like, baseball, or hockey, or fucking tennis. I don't care. I don't know what else they make. Beyond that, golf. UFC. U- UFC. All these other ones. is like, they put all those in there. And I was like, that's a great value. That, and then I can support it. And then I read into it more. And none of those other ones are going to end up in this program. It's just Madden and FIFA. I was like, okay. Oh, man. Sounds good. What a stupid fucking decision. Well, it pissed me off because I'm like... She's mad too. Yes. Be mad. Anyways... That pissed me off, and then I was like, okay, if I want to play a sports game of this, like, of the sport I enjoy, so whether it's hockey or UFC or whatever, alright, what's my off-brand alternatives that I can, like, weasel my way into having fun with that won't piss me off like EA does? And there are, there's one licensed NHL product that isn't the EA game, and it's a m- f- franchise manager game, like f- European football manager and those types, mm-hmm. which means it's not a game. It's it's a menu, and that's it. That's the game. And so now I'm like, I'm a fan of sports. I like to play the games both as a simulation and as an arcade experience, uh, and I won't be able to get the updated experience using the thing that they bragged about a shit ton at E3 and if I yeah, want to play dumb. the game I want I'm going to have to pay $80 every year to get a roster update and when they did finally announce the new NHL game uh, the graphics engine which they've introduced on every ev- other sports game including the same studio which makes NHL as makes FIFA like the same like city or whatever EA's thing is EA Vancouver um I was like, they haven't even gone up to the next generation one that they've been using for FIFA since 2015. They're still using the same one that they used back in 2010. Yeah. That's dumb. I am so mad, (laughs) and I don't know what to do. Well, what you do is don't buy it. I know, but I need it. (laughs) (laughs) In my veins. It's a mighty thirst, isn't it, Thomas? (laughs) It's so stupid. I want to kill myself. I well, don't do that. Ha- you have a child. I know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Way to make it real. <laughs> Wait till he's 18. Jesus Christ. No. I won't do that. But well, if you do it now, I won't remember. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my rant on sports games for now. That sounds fucking awful. It is. Is Killing really yourself awful. or the game? Oh, also, talk it, this it, all in now. relation back to the Steam sale, NBA 2K was like, all right, we're going to put some of our games on sale, get people back in, they're going to love us. They only put two of their 2K basketball, etc. games on sale, that being the most recent NBA 2K game, which is their first one that was negatively reviewed. By comparison, three previous years, uh, average rating eight, anywhere from 82 to 93%. Uh, this, is last this the year's, one where they shoved a bunch of fucking microtransactions yes, up its ass? Uh, uh, this one's rated 13 on Steam. And I was like, that is harsh. And the other one they have is their VR experience, which is uh, rated at a 20. And both of those are on sale for, coincidentally, 95% off. And if you look at the sales chart on like Steam related to the Steam summer sales, uh, they are on the last page. <laughs> so, at least... Yeah. Like I, like you suggested for me with my problem, people aren't supporting that, and hopefully I can try to hold off my fucking drug addiction of sports game. <laughs> Just get yourself a nice Donosaur Park management well, game. Well, I, I picked up some games today in the summer sale, which 
I know I will play a shit ton more than NHL. That being, I got Planet Coaster, so Ooh. I'm gonna have a very fun time for yeah, like that'll 300 hours because the sandbox mode. That, that's my that's my problem with Planet Coaster is it just there's too much customization that you'll just end up spending months trying to get everything perfect. I I love it though. It, oh, it's amazing, but mm -hmm. it's like it's almost too heroin. Yeah. Speaking um, about heroin, I got one quick thing uh, before that. Um, uh, um, Aaron. What yeah. is heroin leading to? The, I don't uh, <laughs> how did you get that Spinosaurus skull? The what? Is oh, that? Yeah. That's just part of the uh, building. Yeah. It's um, fake. Phony. Um, how do you get... How the fuck do you get the Jurassic Park Classic Jeep? Uh, it's under the skins. And you can get those through... Um, there's different challenges that you can complete. Okay. So right, I haven't found it. I haven't been able to get it yet. Yeah, there's the classic one as well that you can get. I, this one. I, I got. I got the blue and the red and the uh, and the like the Jurassic World Jeep. Yeah, I, I got the 1993 Jeep. classic. That one's. Uh, I think you gotta you gotta spend five seconds in the air for over a twenty second period. So you basically just gotta do a bunch of jumps. I think that you unlock that one. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to Nublar and set up a bunch of ramps in the middle of it. Do there it that you way. go. You have to genetically recreate John Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's like nobody well, made him. The door, the door is open. The door is <laughs> open. Big fan. No, <laughs> you see an old naked man. Like, no, that's no, right. he's in his white suit and cane. The, the great thing you can do here hat. is you have like a crossover with like Jeff Goldblum and like the fly and yeah. stuff and. Just monstrosities start coming in. We should say that he, Jeff Goldblum is in the game playing uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Uh, B.D. Wong is playing Dr. Wu from the movies. And, and so is do Bryce Dallas Howard. Lines? What? Do they have many lines? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah they... Bryce Dallas Howard doesn't have many. That's she, okay. Yeah. And they got somebody who sounds nothing like <laughs> Chris Pratt as Chris Pratt. <laughs> I don't understand why he's not in the game because he did the Lego game. Yeah. Um, like, what does he sound like? It, just some normal guy. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like if Thomas did the voiceover. No offense, Thomas. They're trying. No, that's to okay. Speak. I'm no Chris Pratt. So, well, I'm like, Where do, no, what do I, I can't call? even. Not even Chris Pratt when he. You're was like Chris Rupert. Nat, because you're not Chris. No, not at all. Oh, it sounds. I don't know. It's kind of. You can. Well, he's obviously trying to sound like him, but anyway, there's a lot of red on your screen there, buddy. Yeah, I guess it wanted a power outage. Talking about a lot of red. Uh, KSI and Logan Paul will be boxing in oh. August. Insert million dollar baby yeah, right. joke Same here. Way for the YouTube. Wait, what? Below. So, KSI is a famous FIFA YouTuber. Is who, it like kilos per inch or something? I don't. I don't know what it is. I'll be honest, Aaron. Okay. I'm sorry. I failed you. Yeah. Um, but uh, he previously boxed uh, another big. I can't go like, his way. Uh, I think he was a British streamer. Oh, okay. Um, this was like four or five months ago, just like around New Year's, I think, like January. And uh, they live streamed it on YouTube, and they had sponsorships and everything for it. And I over, I think, I uh, eight million people watched it live. <sighs> and on like the recorded like live stream, I think over forty million. People seems, watched it, it after. Seems like a stupid amount. Of but a, well, it's an amateur boxing match between celebrities, and those celebrity fight nights were really popular when they used to have those on Fox. So like, I can kind of see it. It's like a modern version of that. Plus, it's free and on the internet. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so as soon as that was a hit, I was like, oh, yeah. "Well, the Pauls are gonna get in on this," and uh, KSI basically said, "You know." I'll fight whoever challenges me within reason. Oh. And uh, Logan Paul, the, the oh, older, shit. goofier Paul, was like, oh, yeah, let's no. fight. And they had, they've had their second press conference now. And if you thought the McGregor Mayweather press conferences were stupid, oh, these are way better. I'm going to get that Indominus in check. Yeah, uh, one of uh, KSI showed up. Better is in way worse. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like KSI oh, showed fucked. up wearing like a Logan Paul costume and wig. I'm gonna add a, activate your shelters quick. Everything like that. Yeah. But I was hoping Rory would be here because I like I want Rory's pre-fight analysis. Oh yeah. Aaron, how uh, how panicked would you be if you were a guest at Jurassic World and all of a sudden <laughs> just what happened was it just like somebody comes over like Bing Bong. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he just cuts <laughs> off halfway through. It was like, what the fuck was that about? And I was like, all emergency shelters are now open, and we encourage all guests to uh, to take part, please. All right. Oh, okay. They just ran through too. Cool. Yeah, they should fix so that. So this is an example of sabotage, where somebody for some reason broke all your fucking fences at once. They opened all of my gates. Every gate in the park just opened. Cool. You should have paid your marketing team more. Yeah, I guess. This guy, at least this guy had the courtesy to die. Oh shit. <laughs> you should have made your marketing team happier by unlocking all the gates to your park. <laughs> Who sabotaged it? Oh, someone's fighting. Uh, I guess it's my entertainment team. Yeah, all your dinosaurs are just gonna die here. Yeah, probably. Stop. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Stop opening up the fucking gate. Like, well, you're all fired, I guess. <laughs> yeah, seriously, just kill them all. So there's a firing squad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that uh, episode of Futurama where they're all trying to come up with uh, with ways of stopping global warming, and Dr. Warnstrom creates that big mirror in space that reflects the sun, and gets hit by a rock, and it, like, burns down half the state, and they're like, what? all right, what else we got? <laughs> what regulatory body do these islands fall under? Is, is, it, is it Costa Rica? Rico? Yes. Rico? It's off the coast Whatever. of Costa Rica. Yeah, but it's off the coast, so is it their... Are they their islands, or are they... Nobody's islands. Somebody has the test to own these islands, uh, right? I, I guess it's Costa Rica. I don't know. Also, one thing that you absolutely have to do if you want this game to succeed in this game is up the accuracy of the goddamn security, like uh, asset containment unit. Because if they're at, if you're just based on their fucking accuracy, then the guy that they got sitting in the chopper is like, all right, time to take the shot. Jesus, he's so fucking mobile. The dinosaur, <laughs> I've had dinosaurs standing still, kind of looking around as they've like just eaten one of my guests, and uh, as I'm like, do. as as they as they want to do, and the tra and the, the guys in the chopper are like, Jesus, I can't fucking hit him. He's some wily. So if you, you gotta they, up the accuracy. Have, do they have like sound clips they play? Or they're like, oh Jesus, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They probably talk, but I don't they say any of that. Uh, Where'd your Indominus go? Uh, oh, I got him right away. Okay. He's going back into his pen. Adam, how how much do you love going to YouTube mm -hmm. and watching an ad before a video you want to watch? Uh, I like it so much that I put on Adblock. Well, yeah. I'm here to tell you that I, that I I put on Adblock. By the way, not the ads are very... no, no. You clearly hate everybody on YouTube, and you no. don't want to support them. It's also because uh, you, I don't, you've I don't, made your point. I don't want I don't want malware on my computer. Yeah, no, this is a very smart move. I'm here to tell you today that you will no longer... You know what? Get rid of that ad block, Adam. Now you can pay YouTube... $12 a month. $12 a month. $11.99. Uh, which, you know, is YouTube Red in the States, but now it's YouTube Premium in Canada here. I, I have seen that. I saw that advertised today. Like, I was trying yeah. to... You can get three months for free. That's right. Sweet. No ads, and oh. you support... The uh, channels you watch. Like, that's significantly uh, that's, better. That's, that's honestly kind of worth it. Yeah. Uh, what's great, too, if you have an Android phone, is it comes with uh, Google Music for free. So you get basically like Apple Music or Spotify, the Google equivalent, mm -hmm. where you can stream any song anytime and download it onto your phone and listen to it anytime otherwise. I'd probably be over uh, like all over this if... YouTube was like competently managed. Yes, I know. I've been it's been it's pretty steady decline. <laughs> so I'm I'm hesitant to jump aboard any I'm gonna, I'm anything gonna, like this yeah, right now. It sounds good, but sure. I, uh, I'm gonna hold off. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm excited for this because if if that's the case, I will happily pay twelve dollars to YouTube a month. In order to support my channels, because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of really uh, although honestly most of the channels I watch have Patreon anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to support anyway, mm -hmm. but it's kind of easier just Patreon pay is the, the more direct approach. Yeah, more direct and the clear better alternative to yeah. any YouTube thing. The the you problem I'm taking money out of it. yes. The problem I have with with Patreon, so is Patreon is um um or not Patreon. Well, I, it's not even a problem. It's just that. I have so many people I want to support that I would end up spending like two hundred dollars a month on different Patreon. How many channels do you watch? Two hundred, like not just channels, but different artists and like a lot. There's a couple of web comics I'd like to support. I don't support any right now because I barely have enough money to, to Patreon myself, really. 
Um, I mean, you just had to buy yourself health insurance. I mean, you're growing up, man. I, I am, and that's another kind of like, ooh, that's less money in my mind. Why do you, why do you need health home. insurance? What? Why do you need health insurance? Because I don't have it. But why do you need it, though? Because if I get sick, then I don't have to pay out of pocket. But you don't have to do that here anyway. Uh, for certain... So not for medical care, but for drugs, I uh, you do, and for oh, stuff like drugs. dental. So I mostly got it for drugs and dental. Man, for dental it pays How much for is it for yeah. dental? Oh, fast. Yeah. What? How much is it for dental, if you a don't mind of, to be asking? What? Uh, I'm, I, I'm paying... I'm, I went with a very basic plan, because a lot of the plans are like... Yeah, the, they're crazy. Well, if you, it's like, here, you can have, you know, like, oxygen masks and stuff. Like, I probably won't need any of that, but I went for a very basic plan that covers, like, most generic stuff. Don't mm-hmm. forget to move your Giganotosaurus. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, no, he's, he's on his way. The, um, uh, I went for one over. that supports, uh, that gets me dental, gets me, co- um, chiropractor, physio- uh, physiotherapy, Physi- massage, uh, vision. Uh, yeah, see, not to derail this podcast, because we never do that here, but <laughs> we, we, I always found it made more sense to just pay the damn dental bill than to pay for, it's like, what's dental insurance? It's like $200 a month or something. No, no, no. Mine, or $100 mine, a month, something ridiculous. Mine is 61 a month. That's still ridiculous. For your health yeah, and but I just or just your dental uh, for both. Yeah, that that's that's very. That, that's basically that saying that. you're going to get a root canal every single year. Yeah, but I just paid two hundred dollars for my uh, for my um, uh, just to get a uh, my you teeth get a clean. cleanup. Yeah, and I know you're gonna say, well, if you know, if you wait three months, you'll be paying more for that for insurance. But or ten if years. I to, uh, if I have to get something done with. Uh, if I break when they a tooth, do the checkup or even yeah, like or like let's say they find a cavity and I gotta get a cavity replaced. That's um, I think it's seventy percent or eighty. I can't remember what should my be, package it is. It should be between seventy and eighty five. Yeah, paid for. So instead of paying, uh, I don't know, like five hundred. How come dental isn't covered under our Canadian healthcare? So it seems over time. If you go into the dentist and you got like tooth cancer or something, the only thing uh, the Canada. Uh, health will cover is that you like on. break your jaw, lose like your teeth, and then go. they'll help you get dentures. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I had a bunch of banks call me and be like, "You should get health insurance." Like, you bitch, should... if I die, who's getting that money? I'm dead. <laughs> That's life insurance. <laughs> Fuck you. And then click. Yeah. Uh, was it Scotia Bank got a pretty bad scam with that on the go? Actually, with their insurance people. I mean, oh, I guess he's. I get called from them all the time. Thomas, if you, if you don't mind, uh, mind asking, what, what, who are you with? Uh, we're with Great West Life. Okay, I went with. Uh, I'm with the uh, Blue Cross. That's who we were with previously. Yeah. It, it. Most of the companies that are allowed to operate in Canada are reputable, so I mean, you're not. Yeah, it's not like the states. It's not like the states where it's like a wild world. west. Yeah. Of insurance coverages. Yeah. Oh, sick! They got the balls. Yeah, Sorry. man, you can haul ass <laughs> in the ball and also listen to <laughs> sirens. Just want to see this kid like just ram in the dinosaurs and dinosaurs yeah, like, and shoot, go away. Go off, but, roll uh, it in the water. It's nay on the U.S. health and dental insurance, nay. Why? Why? Because we're going to lose our U.S. viewership when they realize how shitty Dave, it is. Does Dave watch anything? <laughs> no. uh, Dave absolutely does not watch the podcast. <laughs> uh, probably not the podcast, watch some other stuff. Oh, it's a Corthosaurus. But he also agrees that uh, American healthcare is dumb. And uh, Parasaurolophus. They're one of my, they're my favorite hadrosaur. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. So, what, did you just point at that? Point at his anus. I didn't do it. The oh. person that's in this did. That I controlled their mind. Do they just point at things every now and then? Brachiosaurus. Yeah. Another core. That I guess it's... Oh. Is that Triceratops in the in the lake there? How does a sphere move in water? Well, floats. It's, never it's, got, it's got a little wheel. No, there. <laughs> a little Thomas. propeller comes up the back. Okay, no, it does sink down. It's got little wheels on the bottom. Okay. And that moves the big wheel that it's inside of. They used to have a big head on top. They used to sound like... Yeah, he does a better one than, than I do. Excellent. But they had to take that off. They just look silly. Uh, um, Aaron. Triceratops? Yeah. Are you excited to play Red Dead Redemption on PC? Oh my god. I hope. Hope so. Well, I don't, well, I don't, I, I don't like the sound of this. Probably won't be at lunch. I'll tell you that much. Probably not. I, I, um, if there's any truth to this rumor, apparently some, some dude who, was, who used to work at Rockstar put it on his LinkedIn that there was a PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's now off his LinkedIn. Uh, it's now removed, which <laughs> maybe adds more truth to that rumor. Is there a dinosaur uh, just out wandering about? Uh, no, it's still... Oh, maybe it is. Oh, maybe that's... I thought he was knocked out and he was in transport. But he's not a threat to guests, so maybe I'll leave him. Oh, he's thirsty, though. Alright, let's get him back into his thing. <laughs> Stupid dinosaur. Yeah, um, so uh, probably not at launch, but too, isn't there? there's... Well, then... Yeah. 
Uh, hopefully there's some truth to it. I'm gonna. I, don't, I mean, I'm. I'll probably end up getting it, but I'm more reluctant about it because I'll end up getting a console version of the game anyway. For yeah, Adam double dip, man. You got to double dip. That's why it's not going to be on PC at launch because yeah. they want to get you to buy it twice. Well, I mean, I'm buying it so I can play with Adam and Thomas and Sandy and whoever else buys it. Hey, hey, I, I'm I'm on board this PC train now. I'm, yeah, I'm 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 doing my transition. I'll play it, play it on PC with Thomas then. Yeah. Wait for the rest of you guys to get it. <sighs> uh, God damn, I know Storm. Adam, I built a PC for two hundred dollars. You can do it. <laughs> build a PC for oh, well. I am building. I'm hoping to build a PC by the end of the year. So, we'll uh, we'll see. Mm. Just build part. another one for Adam. <laughs> he has to. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get all. I'm gonna get Aaron and and you, uh, Andrew and Thomas and Rory to. Combine your powers and to build me the best computer, the, the best PC. The only reason you bring me in is to like find things. Mm. What I'll do is I don't lock- know, I don't know the specs. I, like I had the, to I had to go yeah. to this group to understand what made sense. You're like the, I'll the, be John Hammond and you guys be Nedry and I'll like come at you and toss you a lot of bills. Like make like, me dinosaurs. Yeah. Spare no expense. Aside from this is all your budget. <laughs> But Thomas is like the, the thrift king yeah. when it comes to PC. That's why we call him old Thrifty Thomas. <laughs> He'll thrift your ear off that one. Yep, yep, there you go. Uh, hey, look, I got I want my... You, I want you to see I got my, my, my wedding speech at my wedding. <laughs> anyway, Adam, that's why we call him old fucks a horse Adam. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save it for uh, Thomas's wedding. Oh, okay. I'm already married. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> You missed that one. I'm sorry, Andrew. Get a divorce. I had a whole speech. <laughs> Look at at me and Ari is like big anniversary at some point. I'll be like, all right, all right, this is gonna be very special. We have a wedding speech. <laughs> <laughs> it's a couple years late, but here we go. And it's not me. It's it's Andrew. <laughs> but uh, he really wanted to say something about something. All right, Andrew A- Ariana. <laughs> The reason you should marry T- Tamus <laughs> is that Tamus. Uh, what's next on the topic list? That's oh, it. that's it. That's we it. did it. Oh, that's next it. on the top of sl- topic list is we shut it down and go do something else. Um, I, we are going to go see Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so uh, as we'll of this recording, tomorrow. talk about that next, next week. week. Oh yeah, um, he's, he's it probably out. won't be good as the uh, as as the game. Well, he fell asleep. Just has a nap in the middle of a storm. I'm looking forward to the movie. I, I, I'm cautiously yeah. optimistic because went into Solo being told this is going to be garbage and I had a fun time. Mm. This one here, already know it's probably going to be garbage. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a See, fun See, that, 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 that was my approach to Jurassic uh, Jurassic World I, 1. Was it, I was like, this is going to be fucking awful. And it came out, I was like, oh, this actually very, like, succeeded it was a, my... It, it was, was a very fun passable. Movie. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a fun time. I watched yeah. it again the other night. You just can't. You cannot go into it expecting you Jurassic gotta tur- Park. You, you also got to turn off your brain a good chunk. Yeah, but uh, for what it's a it's a it's a really Eagles. good action movie. It is not an adventure movie. Hmm. Mm. Uh, and uh, I hope the kids aren't in this one. I don't think they are. Good. They All might right. be. They might do the thing where he, Dr. Malcolm goes to John Hammond's house. They come downstairs like Dr. Malcolm. And he's like kids. And then that's it. That's their career. That's their acting career. Uh, a Lex and Tim cameo would be cool. That would be cool. They're not in it though. They're the Indo Raptor. They're just in a suit like a pantomime. Horse. <laughs> like an old as fuck. <laughs> Still got the same outfits. <laughs> yeah, and they pull off the mask, and they're like, "Yes, and we would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those <laughs> for, for damn them, kids, those me- the meddling, meddling raptors." The raptor eats them. Like, <laughs> ah! Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it then. Yeah. Yeah. If you're asking me, it's over. Oh. ho, ho. <laughs> 